just want to give a very important message out to all you single fellas. I know you all have that one friend. We've all been there, that one friend that, that found a girl and went off and you never saw him again and you're all alone. But being alone on Valentine's Day isn't all that bad. It re really isn't. <laughs> There's always a plus. You know, for example, more quality time with you and your sausage. <laughs> so, in 1985, a holiday slasher movie was released. My Bloody Valentine. And <laughs> I first watched it, I'm ashamed to say, a couple of nights ago. I know, I know, don't don't kill me, I'm sorry, alright? <sighs> and I was shocked. <laughs> Genuinely. I I was shocked by how the fuck I didn't see this before. In fact, I was annoyed with myself. I was like, why didn't you give this a chance, dude? Like, when you were younger, you would have loved this. Kicking myself now, but hey, fuck it. Here we are, and we're talking about it. So, this movie starts off with two random miners walking through the mines. And they, you know, they stop. And they have that Michael Myers gas mask fucking breathing. <laughs> yeah. And they stop. And one of them takes the mask off and it's a female. A blonde female. Some chick. And she takes, you know, everything off. And, you know, they start, you know, touching each other. And she does this weird, like... <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? This weird stroking of his, like... Breathing fucking fucking thing you know the mask is connected to it and it breathes oxygen in. I can't remember what you call it but uh, she's sitting stroking it and stuff and weirdly because that that is very sexy right <laughs> so randomly I, I honestly did not expect it he's like basically kills her ass like puts her into like these spikes and like the practical effects it's like really good like it's like skin goes through it's really really good so safe to say she did and <laughs> and that's like the introduction you get this movie you're like holy fuck wow you know so i knew i was in for a treat right after that and the kills in this movie are fucking gnarly like holy shit I mean, like, you get people putting the tumble dryers and fucking axes to the face. God damn. All the on Valentine's Day, I'm telling you, it brings out the worst in people. You know, money struggles. <laughs> you, you go on a date, Valentine's Day, the guy hands you the bill. You see the bill. Shit, you go into your car and you're getting the axe out of your boot. It's justified. It's fucking justified. <laughs> How much did you say? Come here. But, uh... <laughs> so, the whole movie follows primarily these kids. And there isn't one kid or actor, even, in this movie that I didn't like. Usually I would go in there and be at least one that I would stand there and think, I fucking hate this guy. Kill him! Now! But no, genuinely, every character in this movie was likable, per se. I mean, you have the two friends, Axel and TJ, and they're like, basically button heads over a female. We've all been there. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so they have their own little conflict going. And 
in the background, everyone's just one by one getting picked off, and then they're all getting sent a heart. It's like years ago, like which like in the 80s, around that time, the most popular thing back in the 80s was giving people chocolate. Today, that's not really a thing. I mean, today, like, oh, wait, what'd you get your lady or whatever for Valentine's Day? Not many people say these days, oh, a big box of chocolate. You know, it's it was more of an 80s, 90s thing, you know. These days, it's, oh, I bought her some voucher for a salon to get her, you know. At least I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. But, you know. So, they're all giving us like a little heart-shaped... Oh, <laughs> heart-shaped fucking box of chocolates that's red. And whenever they open it, there is a human heart. Damn, that's romantic. Eh? You want to you wanna give your partner your, your heart? Eh, that's dedication right there. Shit. <laughs> so that goes to the sheriff. The sheriff freaks the fuck out because there was a serial, serial killer from years ago that was killing people and the whole place went quiet for a while and then suddenly the, he seems to have came back, allegedly. Oh, by the way, there will be spoilers in this for anyone who hasn't seen this before. Just letting you know, there will be spoilers. And there is a big twist in it that, honestly, you should experience on your own rather than hear it from me. So if you want, go watch the movie, then come back and watch this. It's a brilliant fucking twist. i would never seen it coming. I literally did not see it coming at all. I... <laughs> But anyway, so but we'll get there. Fuck, we'll get there. Don't worry. They, the kids have this Valentine's Day party they have going on. And this planned. And everyone's excited. And, you know, I honestly felt I could relate to all these kids. Because I felt like I was like that when I was younger. And everybody else was, you know. All we want to do is drink. And, you know, they're teenagers, you know, drink and have sex. That was the thing, you know. And so they had a Valentine's Day party planned. And because of all the killings and all the hearts being sent around, the sheriff decides, fuck the party. No, cancel it. Fucking cancel it. So the kids are all like, oh, you know, we're looking forward to that. Now what do we do? Life's ruined. You know, dramatic. <laughs> and they're all in the bar. And the bartender, I fucking love. I love the bartender. He's just so dry and just so sinister. And... <laughs> You're all gonna die. You're all fucking stupid. You're an asshole. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, you know. He's so cynical. Which I find myself to be like in real life. And so they all decide, fuck it. Let's go to the mines. Let's let's start a party and, and take it to the mines. Who's gonna think to check there, right? So everyone's like, yeah, oh my god, yeah, you know. And that's what they do. Eventually they go and they start this big party and nobody knows it's all a big secret. The bartender's the only one that knows. And I'm so surprised that he didn't get on the phone and call anybody and say or the sheriff and say, listen, they're planning a party, they're taking it here. You know, make sure that doesn't happen. You know, but I guess he didn't I guess he was probably thinking, right, well, your funeral. You did it, your problem. So I get that. Uh, <laughs> so they all go to the party, go to the mines, bring a fuck ton of drink with them, and it's really cool. I I honestly like it. Like again, the conflict with TJ and Axel over the the girl, they fight, you know, at the party, and eventually they get into a scrap. And may I say, I felt so sorry for Mabel, the lady that was in the laundrette. I felt so sorry for her when she was killed. Because she was so sweet. And what a death she got too. Like, all you saw was like the first person thing. Like the first person view walking in. The mat, like the glove. Putting the box of chocolates down. Sneaking into the back just to watch. And you saw her going over all smiling. And she opens it and her heart. Then she gets grabbed and killed. And then the sheriff goes in. Finds her in a tumble dryer. Which is a gnarly fucking scene, but it was so well done. So that impressed me. I was like, wow, shit. 
Good effects. It's not CGI, thankfully. <sighs> God, practical will always win. I keep saying it. So. <laughs> oh, man. I want to talk about that twist. I really do. I'm like. So one by one, they're all, the teenagers are killed off, one by one. And because they keep going off in pairs, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, sneaking off to, you know, having the course. But, of course, of course they're going to be killed. Why wouldn't you? Everyone knows in a slash movie, don't have sex. You're going to get killed. That's one of the biggest rules in horror. But, I uh, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> So this couple go sneak in and they're lying in the trailer and they're making out, whatever. And he says, oh, I'm going to go get a few beers. You want a few beers? I'll get a few beers. <laughs> he runs off and his, his lady waits. And yeah, she again ends up getting killed. Like the guy, the killer picks her up like by the head, walks around there like, <laughs> like, like what the fuck, like fucking Lion King. And then fucking just puts her head in like to a water vase or valve or something. And whenever the guy comes back, he's like, hey babe, I'm back. And he finds her up and it's like really cool fucking effect. Like she's out there hanging, but you see water like coming out of her mouth because like the water valve. And it's such a cool effect. I really loved it. Simple things like that really just made this memorable for me. Instant. For me, it was an instant classic, and you get to the last, what, three, four, and someone get picked, and oh, the bartender gets killed, he tries to, <laughs> he's pissed drunk, and he has this whole thing set up where he's like, in the ward open, he has this like fake, you know, minor dummy there, and like when you open it, it's raises an X or something. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he raises the gap whenever you close it and you open it, he does that. So it's to scare all the teenagers. And he's like, Ugh. and he keeps fucking doing it. Like he keeps going back to open the door, close it. Open the door, close it. He's like, <laughs> and he keeps that shit up. And then on the fourth try, turns around and it's really the, <laughs> the killer's in there. And it really gets an X to the face. And then Ken gets his ass dragged away. <laughs> See, that's what you get. Stop fucking lingering. Okay, it was funny. Yeah, great. Now, fuck off. Let's go somewhere and close the doors and lock it. Shit. Standing there, you goofy ass. Oh, man. Every kill is awesome. And on the scene where Axel... Oh, oh, hang up. This is the part where I'm going to talk about spoilers, okay? You've been warned. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. But Axel falls into the water, uh, which is off screen, by the way. So you hear, uh, no, e e e e e e e KJ and his lady walk, and I just hear a splash, and, and they run, and they just see like the ripples and the light from under, under the water. And they're like, whoa. At this point, I was actually starting to get pissed off. I was like, wait, wait a minute. We, we followed this guy and he was killed off screen? I fucking hate that. No, no, that dragged this movie way down now for me. Killing off, like, key characters off screen. That's bullshit right there. So I was annoyed about that. But I was like, ah, oh, obviously I'll finish it. And then <laughs> you get revealed, you know. They see the killer, they try and run away, and they jump onto a mine cart, and the sheriff is on his way down to the mines. Like, he has a whole fucking, every citizen going there, chasing him, like, all the citizens with the sheriff, and they're all running down the mine, trying to stop the killer and save all the teenagers, you know. Thankfully, nobody was shouting, evil dies tonight, because that would have sucked. Uh, and... So they're in the minecart and they're going towards the killers on the minecart with them. You know, he yeeted straight on whenever they were leaving. And... <laughs> so they managed to get off and they all put, and they put up a good ass fight against them too. 
especially like TJ, he was like fucking fighting his ass off. He had like pickaxes and he had like this big bar and everything. It was really cool. And then, of course, it's revealed that the killer wasn't who the town thought it was. It wasn't the guy from many years ago. No. It was actually unmasked as Axel. Yes, Axel turned out to be the killer. Now this shocked the shit out of me because I had no idea. I, I was fucking stunned. <laughs> and the movie went from down here right back up to here. <laughs> For me, I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? I did not expect that shit at all. But I fucking loved it. So, fucking cave collapses down on itself. Rocks, debris. And the psychopath he's buried in and he cuts his own hand off and runs away like fucking goofy like oh, I'll be back oh, you know it turns out a fucking goofy <laughs> so he runs off gets away movie ends <laughs> yeah I'm really annoyed I didn't watch this movie sooner because it was a kick ass movie you know, I enjoyed the kills, there were gnarly as fuck, the effects, the practical effects were just phenomenal on point. It was a simplistic story. There was a guy in the mines, he was killed. Oh, and you found out the reason why Axel became the killer was because the previous killer from the histories, from the legend, city legend, killed his dad and he witnessed it. So he went do laddie growing up and he became the killer. So that's his motive. Everyone needs a motive, that's it. Sorry, I had to. And yeah, fuck, this movie is awesome. So, if I were to score it out of 10, it has to, be, has to be 9 out of 10. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I genuinely enjoyed it. When it ended, I was like, God damn it, it's over, fuck. And the song at the end of the credits, I really liked that too. I, in fact, I didn't even skip the credits. I just kept on until the song was played. <laughs> It was a good ass song. So I really, really enjoyed that. So anybody who hasn't seen this, My Bloody Valentine's from 1985, watch it. Couldn't recommend it enough. I swear it's just, for us horror fans, it's just what we needed. And I recall there is a remake, which I'll be reviewing in the soon Soon future, that makes fuck all sense. In the near future. Oh, there we go, now we can string a fucking sentence together. Oh, and I want to talk about one more kill just before I wrap this up. There's a guy who's boiling potatoes in, in, in a pot. <laughs> and there's like fucking there's like a little pot and there's like the fucking eight sausages or something in there. And the killer like grabs his head, sticks his face in the pot. And until he dies, of course. So, come on, come on, fellas. Getting your head stuck into a hot boiling pot and having sausages bouncing all over your face. Isn't that how we all want to go, fellas? Isn't that how we all want to die? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're going to edit this up. <clears throat> <coughs> so if you if you enjoyed this video please if you think i've earned it like subscribe and yeah thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i appreciate all of you yeah i will see you all in, in the next video oh and uh oh. Don't kill anyone. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what fuck am I doing?